Kyle Glazer coming to you live from the Hard Rock Hotel here in San Diego. We're here with Carson Fulmer. Carson, you're here at the Futures game. Tremendous honor. What was your reaction when you heard you'd been selected? Yeah, well, actually, I, uh, I really have always wanted to do this. I've always wanted to be a part of this game. Um, when my coach told me that uh, you know, I was going to be invited to it, obviously I was very honored, and it's definitely an opportunity that I've, that I've wanted to do for such a long time. So um, luckily I have my fiance here and, and, uh, and her mom, so they're able to uh, experience with me also. So I'm really excited. Have been to San Diego before? I have. I did okay. the, uh, the uh, perfect game, All-American game, yep, here in high school. And, but I wasn't able to explore much when I, when I came for that. So now we're able to get out a little bit and explore the city. Being 21 versus not makes, makes a bit of a difference, <laughs> yeah, too, as well. A little bit, man. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, I mean, so you've been in Petco Park performing, playing in a major league uh, facility, you know, in a major city. It's, it's got to be way different than, you know, some of the minor league parks and, and colleges and all that. Yeah, you know, stepping into a, into a field like that is a little overwhelming. <laughs> but you soak it in as a, as a, as a player and you, know, you kind of realize where you are in the moment and you just take your same approaches into that, uh, to the outing and you have fun. That's the biggest thing. You know, you've uh, obviously you know, been successful thus far and th thus you're here. Uh, what would you say has been the key to you know, your progression as a professional and, and getting to this point? I'm learning. I'm learning through experiences. Uh, early this year, you know, I ran into some adversities that I've never faced as a player before. And, um, I wanted that. I wanted to, to experience it in the minor leagues. So hopefully one day when you know I get the opportunity to, to make it to the big leagues, um, I've been there before and I know how to handle the adversities I'm going to face. So I've grown a lot as a player. I've grown a lot as a player um, on and off the field over time. But I feel like I'm in a great place now and uh, I'm definitely ready to uh, handle the role here in the near future. Yeah, you mentioned that. Your last few starts have definitely been much better than your first few. What adjustment did you make? Was it all mental? Was there anything mechanical? Yeah, I try not to be too fine. I think as a pitcher, you know, sometimes you want to make that perfect pitch. Right. And you don't necessarily need to. Um, you know, hitters will get themselves out. And, you know, probably doing not too much is the best thing you can do as a pitcher. So um, being consistent, being able to throw strikes in the strike zone with all your pitches is, is cliche, but <laughs> it, it's the truth. Keeping things simple and, you know, just attacking the game like you always do. You know, through high school, you know, all the way through, you know, to now your professional level, Who's been the coach that's maybe had the biggest impact on you in your baseball life? Uh, my high school coach, uh, John Carpenter, uh, my other one, uh, Rick Mosier. You know, I uh, had them as a mentor growing up uh, as a kid, and, um, you know, they were the ones that realized that, you know, maybe you can help your family out financially uh, to be able to take your game to the next level and, and get a scholarship because um, I never really thought of pro ball. I never really did growing up. and. Um, I wanted to get a good education and I wanted to help my parents financially uh, you know, from that uh, perspective. So you know, I was lucky enough to, to be able to, to go to Vanderbilt uh, under Coach Corbin and uh, I'm blessed with the opportunity to continue my career and, and play in the uh, White Sox organization. Absolutely. You, know, you look around this room and uh, really this entire city right now, so many talented young players around. Is there anyone, anyone hitter in the Futures game on the world team you're really excited about the possibility of facing? Yeah. Um, you know, they're, they're, uh, I played against uh, Tyler O'Neill a little bit mm -hmm. uh, in the Southern League. He, he can hit it. He can he hit it. Uh, <laughs> and I know it too, trust me. He's, he's hit a few off <laughs> yeah. me. But, um, yeah, you know, you face guys like that. And, uh, you know, on my team, you know, I have Dansby, who I was a roommate with in college, and, and Bregman and David Dahl, you know, guys I played with growing up. So it's just going to be nice to be, re you know, reunited with those guys. And, and just play the game that we love. Is there anyone on, on either roster that maybe you haven't played with or seen before, but you've heard about and you're excited about the possibility of you know meeting and seeing? Yeah, um, you know I played against uh, Renfro a little bit. You know, being also at Vanderbilt, real, real power, big too. time. Yeah, yeah big um, time. But you know, I, I said I said said hi to him here and there. You know, facing him, but right. uh, we were talking a little bit over there. But uh, you know, new teammates and new experiences you're going to have with them is is why you know, we, we do what we do. You know, you're a pitcher, your manager's gonna be Trevor Hoffman, one of the greatest relievers of all time. Uh, you gonna try and pick his brain a little bit? Absolutely, I mean, how can you not? I mean, he's, he had one of the best mentalities you know, a pitcher can have, and you know, there, there's a saying when you have ice water in your veins, I think that's uh, definitely true. And you know, I've heard he's had a, he has a ton of knowledge to share, and you know, I'm definitely looking forward to, uh, to seeing him and talking to him a little bit. Fast forward, a few, fast forward a few years, you're in the big leagues. 
who's the guy you really want to face? Oh man. Or, or look forward to facing. Yeah, either uh, either Trout or Donaldson. I think those are uh, two guys. I mean, they're they're the best at what they do. And you know, in order to you know be a good player, you have to face the best competition and. Um, Facing those guys is definitely going to be a challenge because of how good they are. Um, but you watch TV every night and you see them, you know, perform the way they do, and you know you want to get to that level and, and be able to compete against those guys. Are you going to stick around for uh, you know post futures game stuff and maybe get a chance to, to meet up with those guys? Yeah, I'm actually uh, I'm actually leaving on Monday morning, oh, okay. so unfortunately <laughs> not. But um, but hopefully maybe you know run into them or something. I don't know what their schedules are, <laughs> but you always kind of hope. Absolutely. All right. So you know Carson.